well. That turned out pretty nice. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, welcome to Katie Did Rocks. As you can see behind me, winter has struck in Montana and so we are going to be doing some more rock cutting. Today, we're going to look at some Spencer opals. They're beautiful, come along. I've been putting off cutting this until I felt like I knew a little bit more what I was doing. This is a piece of pink crystal opal that I found in Spencer, Idaho. And today we're going to see what's inside. This is a little bit difficult to cut because it's at a weird angle, so I have to hold it up in the air. You can see I'm getting off close to the opal here, so hopefully I don't mess it up. That was nerve wracking. Let's see what we've got here. Well, it doesn't look like I've cut too much into the opal itself. That's good. So maybe there's some white opal here. This stuff is interesting because it is a it's a very, very thin layer of color when it has it. So when I found this pink, I was just absolutely agog. What a funny word that is, huh? Um, and uh, so I am just not positive what we're going to find here. My guess is that the, the opal layer is just right along here and maybe the pink is just right here, but we should still be able to get something out of it. Isn't that pretty? The first thing I'm doing here is using the 60 grit wheel, to, which is the coarsest diamond wheel, to try to shape this a little bit. I'm also working the rhyolite off the top to see what I've got here. The pink doesn't appear to go very far in. Now I've got to figure out which direction the opal actually has laid down so that I can figure out how to polish it. The crystal or jelly opal appears to be just on the very surface of this and uh, so it's going to be tough to preserve as much of it as possible. Okay, now that I've had a chance to kind of grind away at this and see what exactly I'm looking at, I think this opal is laid down in layers and usually the color layer is just kind of goes straight across and it's very, very, very thin. And I think looking at this, I can see, I can see the color banding or the you know, the layers going up this way, which means that the pink is just this little thing on the top here. I'm gonna have to see if I can maybe grind away the rhyolite here and preserve this beautiful kind of fluorescent color, but it's going to be pretty small. And that's one thing that I have trouble with with opal because I'm used to working with really large rocks. And so, when I keep getting, when I get these things that are like, oh, it's going to be the size of a, a ring or it's going to be the size of a, a tiny little pendant, I, I can't quite get my brain around it. But I think that's what this is going to end up with. And hopefully I can preserve the color and not ruin it with my big Montana fingers. Okay, it's back to the saw for this little piece. I am going to cut right across here, hopefully, and we're going to make the cab just kind of half rhyolite and half this beautiful pink stuff. 
A lot of times the Spencer Opal is left in the matrix like this because it is, uh, it's so thin, the layers are so thin that it's often very difficult to get a big piece that's not connected to the matrix. And this pink is so unusual, this kind of this crystal pink is so unusual that I want to preserve as much of it as I can. Well, in terms of size, this was a little bit disappointing, but just look at that sparkle. I'm going to put some kind of a silver cap on this and make it a lovely little, a lovely little pendant. It certainly is one of a kind. If you're enjoying this video, click on the subscribe button. Well, that one didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. So I am going to give something else a try. This beautiful thing is something also that I found at the Spencer Opal Mine. And I've been again putting it off because, well, I it's such a beautiful rock. I want to make sure that it, I do it justice. And I feel like I've had enough experience now that I can at least give it a try. So first, the th first thing we're going to do is take the top of this off. You can see that the, the opal itself has kind of filled in down in this cavity and then there's a flat spot there so you can really really see how it how it just built up in layers and layers and layers but you can also see that there's some pretty nice color there so we're going to take this off and then we'll try to cut this out see how deep it goes and then we'll decide what to do i usually use a trim saw to take stuff off of the outside but this is a big enough piece that my little trim saw is just not going to cut it. <laughs> okay, that was really dumb. I didn't do that on purpose. That's why I left. Anyway, um, so we're going to use my slab saw. And as soon as I get this all chopped up in here and nice and tight, we're going to just take the top right off of it. Okay, so we have just definitely cut and cut and cut and cut, and it looks like, well, maybe we'll cut one more side here, see how, maybe two more sides, anyways, definitely going to cut this, see how deep it looks like it goes, and then will look at how pretty that is <laughs> so cool okay <laughs> look how teeny it looks hopefully this will have enough of the edges off that we can then start working on it wow that is actually super unusual for Spencer Opal it's kind of small and you can see here, it doesn't necessarily go across in a straight line, but there's, there's something here and there's something here. So I think what I'll do is cut, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to cut here and I think I'm going to cut oh, here be here. <laughs> I think I better wash this off and make some markers, marks, because otherwise I'll get too confused. And I'm pretty, pretty pleased with this whole situation. Look at that. Okay. So we 
definitely want to do something right there. See what we can do. Okay, I have spared you the, I have spared you the grinding and grinding and grinding. This one, I actually think there's a lot more grinding that needs to be done, but you can see there's, there's lots of beautiful green sparkles there. And there's a, there's a color line right where that mark is there so i think this one will ultimately be pretty nice i've been trying to grind the rhyolite down because that's something that it's not sand <laughs> boy i've been working on lightning ridge stuff and that sand is way easier to work with than this stuff but i do think that once i get it finally off of there it's going to be real pretty and I might actually try to cut down on here as well so that I can have maybe a two-sided thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Then this one, I actually didn't even show you the, the beginning of this one, but I've been working on cutting this down because this is a very thick color line con compared to a lot of them on Spencer Opal. It's a pretty, pretty nice color line so I'm just trying, I'm trying to get down through this rhyolite and see if I can make something beautiful looks pretty good to me all right so you can see there's some color starting to come through here I'm slowly working my way through the rhyolite it is taking a long time but I think it's gonna be worth it this is so crazy. You see, just a little bit, this little bit is coming out there. Just like, even though there's just a tiny bit of this white stuff on the top of it, it's still not, it's not showing the beautiful opal-y stuff until it's all out of there. Grindy, 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 grindy. Even though the one that I was working on just earlier had the more obvious color band, I kind of feel like this one might actually be better if I can just get the piece out of it. I, I have trouble with it being, it being so small. Like, I always want to have this big, huge, you know, great big opal which just doesn't apparently work very much but look how pretty that is we'll keep working okay back to the little little one that that's the really awesome color bar i'm feeling a little bit like i might not be able to get the uh, opal like the rhyolite off there enough to make it colorful. This stuff is so crazy. It's like it's there and it's not there at the same time. I don't know. I can't even describe it, but it's certainly slow and frustrating. You can see, you can see here that there is obviously color underneath there. 
if I could just get this rhyolite off, it would be just super cool, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do it. I'll give it a try. All right, but this one, I really think it's gonna need to be a doublet, which is not something I have time for this week. But you can see that it has this beautiful color band still. And as I'm grinding down, the color is getting more and more all throughout it, but we're also getting super, super thin. So I think what I mean to do is to take all this down with like a flat lap or something, and then put some kind of uh, quartz crystal on top of it so that it will shine and be nice and, and big and not break. So Spencer Opal is just like super, super difficult to work with because it doesn't ever just like when I've worked with Ethiopian Opal and even the Lightning Ridge Opal, it, the color is throughout. And with Spencer Opal, not so much. So you got to really be careful and find the right way to deal with it. But when you do, it sure is pretty. Well, this one's actually turning out pretty nicely. And I noticed when I turned it over, let's see if we can get it to see, it's got another color bar down on the bottom here. And so I'm going to take a flat lap and see if I can get some color on both sides. But that is definitely, that is definitely kind of nice. Well, that turned out pretty nice. And there's actually a little bit of a flash on the back too. It's just a really pretty little pendant. I like it. This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing. If you'd like to share in these treasures, check out my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks. The link is in the description below.